When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I, I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what... And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Evan Ingram, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins have taken the lead. The big... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. Bailey now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, put the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Car now on first down. And he lets go a laser pulled in by Edelman. And he'll be marked down deep in Washington territory. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Now Carr throwing on second down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Throwing his car on third down. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So a field goal here. They're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Raiders pick it up. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And he spins through, and now running right through it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this with intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. 
make sure you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Second down following the run. Again, Peterson. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On first and ten, here's Carr. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. First down. Here's the run with Peterson. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Play clock winding down. They run again with Peterson. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now running right through it. And he'll go down at the 28. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Car going to throw. Steps away to his left. And he's got room. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Latavius Murray, 22 yards. And the Raiders are able to cash in for six. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. I mean, whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, not that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. <laughs> and he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Now after the INT, it's Carr. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make this a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That was second down run for Murray, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 
Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, it's almost a tendency breaker. Throw left side complete. It's Murray. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Seven yards on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Back now in the East Bay. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. They'll run it now out of the gun. Murray has the first down and more. And he is going to feel that one knocked down hard. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run with Peterson. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jadevian Cloudy getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. The play clock's running down. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Jadevian Cloudy. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be a 34-yard attempt. And Myers able to knock it through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Second and 10. It's Roethlisberger once more. Over the middle, he hits Austin. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. He'll look to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We've seen a lot of interceptions from Tlaib over the years, and that was a big one to help seal this win. He has such good ball skills. Just always seems to be around it. I mean, he gets a chance to make a winning play, as we just saw there. He tends to take it. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now a give to Peterson running left. And shutting him off. Now open field. Adrian Peterson off to the races. And all the way in. Touchdown. 